Good morning to everyone listening today, the message for the day. I hope you have a very good day today. And the title of the message for today is Let Things Happen. We are constantly wanting things to happen the way we think they should happen. We have an idea of how things should happen. And things happen the way they happen, <coughs> whatever we think about. <coughs> Mental analysis can never anticipate the infinite possibilities of life in its broadest expression. I mean, life has infinite ways to find, it, find its own expression. And mental analysis, I mean, we don't have such a mind. We, we will need the, the, how do you say this, they will need to connect us, an, an AI, in order to start thinking about being able to make an analysis of everything that goes on for something to happen. From the minutest movement of an atom to, you name it, the minutest thought happening in any way. The analytical mind cannot protect you. It will evaluate pros and cons. You may get the benefits of proper thinking, as they are temporary, but they will not be long-term benefits. So, you know, analysis, uh, the proper, the proper uh, Thinking, it can help, uh, a proper analysis can help, but it's a temporary help. It, it is not the whole thing, and if you base yourself only on analysis, it's a not long-term benefit situation. The long-term benefits are from the higher levels of the mind, from the subtlest level of the mind. Those long-term benefits pertain to levels of the mind that are beyond analysis. Through spiritual practices, we automatically get in touch with that force. And this constitutes what we know as the protection that the spiritual path offers you. So this is an important idea. The spiritual path offers you a protection. A protection that comes naturally as a consequence of you getting in touch with those higher levels of the mind. The spiritual practices that we teach that include meditation and a practical philosophy and discipline that you apply to your everyday life provide and constitute this protection that the spiritual path that we teach of. Now let's look at the matter from another point of view. Why do we want protection and why should we be protected? And what should we be protected from? Does something happen in our life? How can you assess with your conscious little mind that what has happened is not what should happen? It may be an awakening, it may be calling us to a deeper thought, to a better thought, to a thought full of divine energy. Why seek protection? Let things happen. And let the things that happen show you the path so that you can flow with what happens. And as Guruji used to say, we go with the flow. So thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you click in the little bell, every time we put a video, you will be advised by email or with a notification in your computer. We are here every day to bring a spiritual message for every day. So that during the day of today, we can dedicate some time to ask ourselves 
why should I seek protection? Or what should I need to be protected from? And is it not better to let things happen and just become the witness of the workings of the divine or of nature, however you want to call it? Namaste, have a very nice day, and I'll see you tomorrow with the message of the day.